Hey guys, it's uh, Jealous Guy here, and um, I'm gonna make a video. But first, I'm going to torture you by forcing you to watch me eat my Cheeto. Oh. Oh. Okay, alright, alright. Anyway, so, um, yesterday. Yesterday? Last week, um, I got myself a new air filter, air purifier, for my apartment, because I thought, you know, winter's coming around, I started having to close the windows, and, uh, I want to keep the air clean, because, you know, I'm not doing the nicest things to it, but, what can I say? Do I have all my DVD here? Because, because what happens is, any time that I ever go out and buy, like, an expensive purchase like that, I usually end up splurging at the same time. Let me see. Uh, I'm missing one of my DVD cases here. Hopefully this is it up here. No, that's not it. Where is it? All right, where is it? Why haven't they found it? Veruca, sweetheart, I'm not a magician. Give me time. But I want it now. What's the matter with those squats down there? Sorry, I'm just having a Willy Wonka moment. Speaking of Willy Wonka, I was just in the freezer the other day singing a song from that movie when he's like, um... <clears throat> If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Okay, anyway, these are the DVDs I bought. Panic Room, uh, Speed, Secret Window with that perfectly stupid lock of hair going down the left side. Every time I see that DVD cover, I get flashbacks of working at Walmart in Virginia. Um, and finally, The Mask. So, best quote from each movie. From the mask, it would have to be, um, wait a minute, it's exactly two seconds before I honk your nose and pull your underwear over your head. From Secret Window, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it is. From Speed is obviously, fuck me, is the best line from that movie. And then Panic Room, the best line from that movie is, don't take that tone with me, or I'll shove it up your ass and snap it off. Okay. So now, oh man, I gotta tell you about this, the other day at work, um, <clears throat> I had my coke out sitting in my car. And I was taking drinks from it, but... Oh, I was taking drinks from it. Holy cow, no! I guess you thought I was probably shoving it up my butt. No, I was... But, like, every time I would take a drink from it, I would hear something inside of it, like... Like that right there. It would make that sound. And I didn't know what it was. Like, it sounded like maybe there was something frozen. I mean, when you hear that sound, it's like you don't really know what it is, but you think there might be something in there. But I didn't put anything in there. So my first thought was, well, it has to be frozen or something, because it felt cold enough for it to be. It's not cold enough now, but anyway, come to find out, there is a freaking penny in the bottom of this cocaine. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a penny down there. I have no idea how it got in there, because I didn't put it there. But, I don't know, maybe it's just luck or something. Speaking of luck, I should check my pick four numbers and see if I see what came out. Uh, see, 7266, no, 7961. Why does it keep doing that? Coming out with three high numbers. I want it to come out with four high numbers. Hmm. Wait a minute, 8957. I didn't pick 8957. Oh my god, I picked 6957. Are you kidding me? Well, that sucks, man. Look at this shit. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you really want to see this or not. Okay, but see, on October 4th, 2008, 8957 came out on the pick four, the lottery. This ticket is good on October 4th, as you can see, and look at how close I was to 8957. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that it was going to be all high numbers because the odds of that, well, I'm not going to get into details now, but basically you look for something that hasn't happened in a while and you just play that, you know. It doesn't have to be an individual number, but a pattern, like all even numbers or something. The odds of that are 1 in 16, so if it hasn't happened in 32 drawings, well, it's, pre it's pretty much overdue, so you should play that. You know, it's, it's better than playing a quick pick, as far as I'm concerned. Because, like I said on my other channel, you know, I, I, know, it's, I know that it's not scientifically true, but I do believe that if you flip a coin and get heads, you're going to be more likely to get tails the next time. I'm just that kind of a person, I believe that. Because... Because in the end, by the time you flipped it a hundred times, you're going to have some heads and some tails. You can't just have... I mean, sometimes, maybe once in a blue moon, you'd have a hundred heads, sure. 
But yeah, I'd love to see that. I mean, the point is that both possibilities have to be represented equally by fate or by destiny or whatever it is. There are two possibilities. They both have to be represented equally. If you see one, you're going to have to see the other one eventually. It has to balance out. You don't. It's not summer all the year round, you know. It's not winter all the year round. It's You throw something up, it comes back down. If everything goes in a cycle, it goes back and forth. You can't just... If you flip heads, you're going to get tails next time, more than light. I don't know. Maybe the odds of it are 51%. But I still believe you'd be more likely to get tails next time. That's just how I am. Because, it, because it's like a pendulum. A pendulum swings back and forth. It doesn't just sit on one side. I'm telling you. Ugh. Okay. See, I'm using emotion, not logic. Well, fuck logic. As Ed Harris says in the abyss. Oh, this video has turned out to be crap. The last minute of this video just crashed and burned. You see, I was doing good up until that last minute, and I started getting all pissed off, you know, doing my shit. See, this is why I can't get a good video. This is why I need to edit my videos, but I still don't have my computer. <laughs> I mean, they've had it now for... This Saturday will have been a month since I took it in. And I've heard nothing from them. Oh, as a matter of fact, they called me yesterday. Because my payment on the computer was due on October 5th. Well, they called me on October 6th. So I'm thinking, okay, this call has got to be about one of two things. It's either got to be about the payment, or it's got to be about the repairs, like they're done with it, or they're going to replace it, or they got some update on it. So I'm driving up there thinking to myself, well, there's no reason for the call to be about the payment, because why should I pay on something that I'm not even using? You know, until you can prove to me that you have a product here for me that's actually going to work, why should I pay for something that doesn't exist, practically, at this point in time? I mean, let's say that it got up to November 5th, you know, and you still had my computer and you still hadn't fixed it. Are you going to ask me for another payment then? Because what am I paying you for if I don't even have the product? I mean, you should at least, you know, postpone the payment <coughs> until I have the computer back. It seems like that would be the most sensible thing to do. Well, anyway, I walk in the store because basically when they called me, they left a message saying either to call back or to drop by the store. So I drop by the store, you know, thinking there's no reason, no logical reason whatsoever why this should be about the payment. This should be about the repairs of the computer. I walk in there, well, it's about the payment. <clears throat> so I hand them my card, and they swipe it, and, <laughs> and they don't even make a mention of the repairs, like how it's going or anything. You know, and I suppose it's sort of my fault for not bringing it up. I don't see why I should have to. I mean, I brought my computer and I handed it over the counter to you almost a month ago now. Surely you don't just want to play dumb with me like you don't know that I'm basically paying you for nothing here when you swipe my card and take a hundred dollars out of my account. I don't know, I was a little peeved about that yesterday, but I've kind of gotten over it. Because I didn't sound this, um, I didn't sound this civilized yesterday when I was talking about it, I'll tell you that. Let me see if I can make a basket here. Um, I'll try to I suck. I really suck, you know. Okay, that's all for this episode of Jealous Guy Suck. Oh, by the way, um, last Friday at the bar, this girl came up to me saying she had seen me on YouTube. And so if you're watching, hi, I'm sorry I didn't ask for your name or I'd give you a real shout out here. But yeah, it's always great to meet a, to meet a viewer. So yeah. Alright, 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 alright. I need to shut up now. I need to shut up. Stop thinking. Just shut up. I swear to God, I, I had a whole story I was going to tell on here that I've tried to tell like 30 times. And, you know, well, I, I basically now I post it in my MySpace blog, so I don't need to tell it anymore because I wouldn't be able to sound, you know, genuine about it anyway. Okay, we're up to nine minutes. This is going to take forever to convert. Oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, why do I keep saying that? Why do I keep saying by the way? I'm going crazy here. I'm literally going crazy. See, the thing is I got these walls around me right here, you know. Every time I convert my DIVX videos, it, short, it smooshes up the video to the middle of the screen. So I have like these walls here, and I can't get out of them. I'm just trying to fill up the YouTube screen. I can't do it. So yeah.